Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Tower of God New World. In today's video, we'll be checking out the brand new upcoming April 11th update. Now, as you guys can see, it literally looked like I just woke up because I woke up like 20 minutes ago. And yesterday, I didn't post any videos because I wasn't feeling good. So there are going to be some days where I don't post videos. So just to let you guys know. But we're going to go ahead and talk about this update maintenance. But before I do that, make sure you guys hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't. I really appreciate it. And if you guys are new here on the channel, I have a Discord server, so if you guys are interested in joining, I'll post the server link in the comment section down below so that you guys can join up. But anyways, let's not waste any time. Let's go ahead and hop right into the video. All right, so you guys already know the drill. Um, update maintenance, and we're going to have a maintenance schedule depending on your time zone. And the maintenance compensation is going to be 1,000 suspendum, and we're go also going to have Barun Hot Deal Summit tickets. They do this all the time. And before I talk about what's going to be in this update, let's go ahead and check out her trailer. Now, we already know they don't really include the hashtags or the details anymore, which is annoying. I don't like how they did that, but we're just going to see what her skills look like and what her gameplay is mostly about. So let's go ahead and check out this trailer. All right. So character intro video. She looks really cool. I'm not going to lie. And of course, she's going to be a red element warrior unit so i'm not going to explain any further but okay she that that attack is really similar to her current form in the game okay so what is this now so that's her ultimate okay so i'm not gonna lie her gameplay looks really um similar to her current gameplay in the game like the current version of her in the game it really looks similar to her so i don't know but so far that is pretty much her gameplay we don't know any details because you guys know they don't really include the hashtags anymore which is weird so let's go ahead and continue this now it says the videos okay not that part but it says new expansion trial of chaos trial of origin number 700 a new story event a scarf in the flowery spring part two when you came to visit a new event a scarf in the flowery spring part two celebration check-in and new event red mask warren's growth mission and new event a scarf in the flowery red spring two part two event missions and of course the event is chain shop and we're also going to have a new event called the net dolphin queen boss battle and the net dolphin queen boss battle will be available to play on for on april 4th 18 so no, not April 4th, but uh, on April 18th. So uh, the Net Dolphin Queen is going to be the event boss battle. And the new event, Hell Train Arena, is finally going to be available on the game. And new event, Tower Tower Fun Run event. And also new summon Red Mask Horn Hot Deal. New products, miscellaneous improvements and changes and other bug fixes. So that's pretty much all that's going to be implemented in this new update. And I'll say out of all the things I just read just now, the top things that I'm looking forward to in this next update is the Hell Train Arena and the new Dolphin Queen boss battle. Because they've been talking about this boss battle ever since like last month or two months ago. So I can't wait to see what this boss battle has in store for us. But I'm mostly excited for the Hell Train Arena because that's basically going to be a brand new arena type pvp game mode that's going to be implemented into the game i do believe that this system this game mode is indeed going to be pay to win but at the same time i want to see how good it is and how fun it is when you're going up against other players so hell train arena definitely excited about that event overall but uh back to Warun and yeah back to her so she is going to be a red element warrior unit so if you guys don't know um the current version of Harun in the game she is red element now i forgot her um okay she is support she's not warrior she is a support red element unit but this version of uh Harun is going to be um red element warrior instead so she is going to be like a dps character and we already know warrior units in this game are mostly they're kind of tanky and at the same time they can deal some pretty good damage because we look at units like meliotis where he's absolutely cracked with max rainbow stars so uh looking at uh Hua, 
she is going to be red element warrior now do i like that um overall i don't really mind the fact that she is going to be a different class but the fact that they made her red element again now i know that for red element we do need multiple units for red element because red element is lacking but what red element really needs is a tank unit we don't really need another dps unit because we already have vicente who can do that right and vio uh, uh we also have he evan kell as well so what we really need is a red element tank honestly i was looking forward for Hua to be this version of Hua to be a yellow element unit instead because we haven't had a yellow element unit that's like a yellow warrior yellow element unit in a pretty long time the only one that we have so far is pretty much a uh, hats and that's literally it so i might be missing another character but i'm pretty sure so far the only not the only but one of the top uh dps yellow element warrior units is hats or probably um you i might be wrong here but i was hoping for it to be a yellow element unit instead because for red it's like we only need a tank we only need a tank but it's good that we do have another dps for red element but at the same time it's like do we really need it because we mostly need a tank unit i don't know but i can't wait to see what she has in store and whether or not she's a good unit i will say her animations overall if we look at her animations it is really really similar to uh the support horn in the game right now is really similar because she has that same exact attack where she throws her staff like a boomerang and then for this attack right here um okay that's brand new that's not the that's not the current version of Hua. but it seems like this attack right here has time so as you guys can see it has provocation when she did that attack to vespa she did provoke right there so is she going to be a tank unit I don't know if she's going to be a tank unit this is going to be game changing because you guys can clearly see that she did proc provocation to vespa using this skill right here so depending on how many times she can proc provocation with this skill um she can probably be a tank unit for red element who knows but we're just gonna have to wait and see more for gameplay i don't understand why they did not include her hashtags like why did they why did they not include the skill information in the trailers it's just really weird i don't understand why they removed it from the trailers it just doesn't make any sense but judging from what i can see right now um she can definitely proc provocation so she might play as a tank who knows but really excited for this character and can't wait to see what she has stored for us but anyways I'll be ending the video at that. Make sure you guys hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't. I really appreciate it. And if you guys are interested in this new character, um, put your thoughts down below in the comment section what you guys think overall about what and if you guys are excited. But anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this video and I'll be catching you guys on the next one. Peace.